Hey everyone, how's it going? Just want to take a second to go over the WGU cybersecurity programs. I've been getting a lot of questions on LinkedIn. I get questions pretty much on a daily basis about the program. And I figured it made sense just to cover some of the things that are things that people don't know about, common questions that I get. And um, I'm Paul Keystead, uh, CISSP, and I graduated uh, from WGU April of this year. So first off, I just want to cover that WGU's program is recognized by the NSA and the Department of Homeland Security. Uh, it's, a, it's a designation that it shares with uh, universities such as Penn State. So just to kind of like put out there exactly the playing field that like you're going to be on uh, when you attend WGU for cybersecurity. So something that, uh, at least for me, this is the key reason why I chose WGU. The traditional uh, education uh, framework where you know, you have eight weeks, maybe 12 weeks of classes of, you know, one post, and then you respond to, to two of those posts. You have quizzes, you have assignments, and then you probably have a test that is likely not proctored, and maybe a final product along with that test, but it's time bound. And the reality is, is that you're kind of just marching in place until that final test or that final product comes due. Uh, with competency-based education, you can accelerate at your own pace, you have access to learning res resources, the course instructors, you have everything you need. However you want to learn is, 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 is best. And those tests are proctored. Every single test is proctored. For me, at least, that was more validating, knowing that like I absolutely knew uh, the subject material. And the performance assessments... Uh, there, when you're ready to test or challenge a performance assessment, you can you can submit that performance assessment, and then it gets evaluated. And if you meet all the competencies, you're good, and you you move on to either the next task for that class, or you move on to the next class if that was the last one. Um. Yeah, and to to me that just makes sense rather than waiting eight to twelve weeks to do something that you could realistically do in a week or two maybe three weeks depending on what what the class is that it just it just makes way more sense to me all right so and then the learning resources that you have access to this is such a huge value uh comp tia cert master plural site udemy business linkedin learn learning percepio wgu library o'reilly and there's plenty of other learning materials. And also remember, you're going to receive student discounts because you're you are a full time student. Uh, I'm going to also post a link to this Reddit post that has more free resources for WG students. And just remember that when you become alumni, when you graduate, you keep your pl Plural Site subscription. You keep your LinkedIn Learning subscription. Currently, I use Plural Site for for tons of things. I used it to pass my my CISM exam, my CISA exam. Uh, and whatnot. So it's a huge value even after the fact. All right, so here's another thing that a lot of people don't know about. You get two attempts per certification if that certification is required for the coursework. For the cybersecurity program in particular, you're going to have two vouchers for all the certifications except for CI, uh, CCSP. CCSP is not required, but for some reason WGU decided it would be great for their students to have one free attempt at it after completing the cl uh, managing cloud security uh, class at their at their program. Uh, attempts three and beyond, you're, you're going to have to cover yourself. However, it really should not come to that because like we just talked about, you're going to have every resource available to you, the course instructors, uh, and there's also going to be, I kind of skipped over this, there's going to be recorded cohorts or live cohorts that you can attend um, and whatnot that will be super helpful in your studies but uh, yes so two vouchers if you add all those up uh, comes out to around over three thousand dollars in vouchers for one attempt so if you have additional attempts like you're saving a lot of money on uh, on these certifications all right, so acceleration. This is something that can kind of be a taboo subject. You're going to see these posts on LinkedIn, not on LinkedIn, on Reddit quite a bit. 
So students can accelerate with approval from their mentor after completing the initial coursework. The reason why I show my progress here, I completed my degree in one term. I completed 26 courses, uh, 100 CUs, and seven certifications. But what's actually important is that you move at your own pace and you enjoy the process. And, and that's honestly what matters. So you can, do, you can do your entire degree in a year and a half. You can do it in six months like I did. You can, whatever, whatever makes the most sense for you and where you're at, what, what your life looks like, what your time is. Uh, I will say that I, I don't recommend working through it in six months because I kind of kind of got a little bit obsessed, got carried away. But at the end of the day, it, it was worth it, and I did learn. I did learn a lot, and I retained all of it. I know that's probably shocking to some people, but uh, I'm going to be talking a little bit more about about how I know I retained it all in, in a little bit. All right. So the Cybersecurity Club. The Cybersecurity Club has uh, has an accountability group, CTF events. They have a Discord server that is that is really helpful for networking with other students. And it's a great place uh, to share your experience, ask for tips, and uh, attend events, monthly meetings, and, and things of that nature. Uh, it's been a great resource for me. I know it's been a great resource for others and highly, highly recommend it. I'm going to leave a link in the description for, for, the, for that as well. And then uh, something I always hear about is, uh, you know, like, oh, it's too good to be true, like, et cetera, et cetera, this, that, and other things. So, so after completing my bachelor's degree at WGU, I was able to pass the CISSP exam with only five days of review. And, and initially, my plan was to study 30 to 60 days, but I took a practice test on BOSAN, and it turned out that I was, like, scoring a passing score. So I, with the support of my LinkedIn community, uh, reviewed uh, reviewed uh, the CISSP material, and you can find my playbook for the CISSP exam on my LinkedIn profile, and I'm more than happy to answer any questions, so feel free to reach out to me, by the way. And then after that, I challenged the CISM exam, took CASP with no study whatsoever, and the CSA exam all within a month of one another. These are all certifications that people that people study months and months and months for. Uh, I'm not I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying this to to illustrate that the baseline of knowledge that WGU provided me was a solid fundamental base for me to grow from, and it filled in a lot of gaps for me professionally. I've been mostly managerial in my time in the Marine Corps, and there, there were a lot of things that like I I knew I was lacking in WGU like. Filled, filled my my skill set, filled my toolbox with a lot of uh, a lot of great knowledge and a lot of great fundamentals. And then in closing, like uh, if you want to reach out to me on LinkedIn, this is my LinkedIn profile. Uh, and if you want to request more information, please be sure to use this link. And as always, feel free to reach out to me. And if you have any questions, please comment, subscribe, and like this video. And uh, I'd be happy to hear what your experience has been, what questions you have, uh, what uh, what your uh, what, what what's holding you back from starting. I will say this: the hardest part is getting started. As soon as you get started, the momentum builds, and the thing and all the concepts start overlapping one another. And yeah, I plan on posting some more videos about specific courses. I. And, and also, please check out my podcast with Austin Dennis at Full Send Cyber. That is all. Have a great day, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe.